What's up YouTube? As you can see I'm here with Steven from Leviathan Snakes and we had our clutch of sunsets so we want to introduce those to the world, tell you what we think the genetics are and all of those things. Say hi Steven. What's going on friends? I am so freaking excited about this clutch because there are brand new sunset combos in it. Yes man, we did really good. We hatched five babies, uh, three visuals and two hets. They're all a smoke show. And while I'm thinking about it, you go over and subscribe to their channel, do all the things with them. I highly endorse Leviathan Snakes. They are my homies. So what do we have here? All right, so this girl, she is one of the five, and she's one of three females from this clutch. We believe that she is a pastel extreme gene, a 100% het sunset female. And the, I'm not really experienced with extreme gene at all, but Shane is. So obviously she's pastel. Like everybody can see that like night and day. Do you want to explain specifically what makes us say that she is extreme gene? All right, so I've been working with extreme gene off and on for a few years, and I call it the Ken gene in my house. So it's the Ken project in my house. Extreme gene basically is an enhancer type gene, not to be confused with the enhancer gene, but it enhances, kind of stretches out the pattern and stuff, as you can see on the snake. Extreme gene is something that's tied into this sunset project, so we're not entirely sure which ones have it and which ones you know don't and all that stuff. All right, and what do we have here, Steven? All right, this girl, she is another female from the clutch, and she is the last het from the clutch. We believe that she is pretty easily a red stripe yellow belly 100% het sunset. And red stripe yellow belly is pretty easy to ID, and she has she's just a great example of it. Now, the very first red stripe yellow belly sunset we hit maybe a week ago, two weeks ago, is right before this clutch, and it is one of my favorite favorite animals one of my favorite combos in sunset that boy might also have leopard but we're getting him tested to find out so she is has a ton of potential she can make some really really cool babies she has red stripe yellow belly 100 percent heterozygous for sunset all right this girl she is the only female visual sunset that we have and she we believe is a red stripe extreme gene sunset we also believe she is the very first red stripe extreme gene that has ever been hit in the world so we're super super excited about her she has this amazing deep red maroon color to like her background but then also these really bright orange flames that are coming up not quite as intense as when yellow belly's in sunset the thing that kind of makes us think that she is red stripe and extreme gene is if you look at her dorsal stripe she has bits of chaining and a little bit of that kind of red stripe granite pixelation in it in addition for the extreme gene there's really really bright yellows coming through on her dorsal her alien heads are kind of stretched out and elongated and overall much more contrast than just the red stripes red stripe sunset that we had hit previously yes i've codenamed this one the dragon all right, here's where we start getting into, we don't entirely know all the genetics because this is kind of groundbreaking stuff in the sunset. So what's the general consensus so far, Stephen? So uh, after talking to lots of other people in the project, showing them off different genes, we are pretty sure that this boy has yellow belly. And before, you know how I said that it wasn't quite of intense flames for their sides right here this boy is just wild super orange super super high i believe that that is a sign of the yellow belly sunset which yellow belly sunsets have been hit but i also believe that he pretty sure has extreme gene as well because again you get that really really brightness coming in on the dorsal the alien heads are stretched out yeah and if you compare him to other yellow belly sunsets on morph market that's ever been posted he definitely pops more than any of those yeah the biggest difference on this boy than or the biggest thing that we're not sure about is red stripes so he doesn't quite have the granity pixelation of the other red stripes but he does have 
pretty strong dorsal stripe coming through. And again, all of these genes together, they're all new, so it might interact in ways that we don't really know yet, but the good thing is that we can test for red stripe through genetic testing. So we already have his shed, we're ready to send it in, and then that will let us know for sure on that one. But he definitely doesn't have pastel, and that was the only other gene in the pairing. Right, and I codenamed him Nighthawk. And this next animal is the best, most craziest sunset I've seen to date. Let's, um, what do you think? Oh, I'm really, really excited about this one. It's wild. Yeah, it's wild. Crazy pattern, crazy contrast. Let's check them out. All right, Steven. We both got our thoughts on this. You go ahead and take it away, though. Okay, so obviously sunset. This boy also very obviously has pastel. You can tell about that head stamp right there. You can also get how his background is a little bit more faded, but what I think is so cool about this specific combo is that only affects, that blushing only affects the background and he has amazing contrast. And he has this super crazy busy pattern all over his body. And as you go down to his sides, it blows out into very obviously the yellow belly flames coming up the sides. So it makes it almost look like he's on fire. Like like embers like crackling campfire i think it's so cool looking at him overall so there are right now i would say we have sunset pastel yellow belly but i also am pretty sure that he has red stripe in him and you can get that here in the dorsal coming along in it where you can get these chains he has it up here, the like kind of bee little patterns that are coming through, which is also kind of reminiscent of extreme gene, right? Right, because the mom has extreme gene and she has the bees. And funny side story, my son sets from Brad and Brock. So, and then she has bees going down there. So, he kind of mimics mom with the bees. So, I'm leaning that this is the all gene animal. What are you thinking? I think so too. Again, if I don't fully know on Red Stripe, I don't fully know on Extreme Gene because we haven't hatched out very many of them, but if he was the all gene animal, I would be like, I knew it. I knew it the whole time. <laughs> like, right, right. Yes, I would definitely back that up. And it's funny that you mentioned fire because I'm calling him Falcon Fire. In my opinion, the craziest sunset to date. All right, guys, so that is our joint project, the results of all the animals that we produced with his male and my female, and you're going to have to wait and jump on to next week's video where we split the clutch and see how we divvied, divvied it up to make it 50-50. We're super, super excited, and I cannot wait to see what we ended up getting from this collaborative breeding project. I think it was a success. We're both very happy. Tune in next week. Rock on. I endorse Leviathan Snakes. They are my homies. We paid him to say that. <laughs> <laughs>